at this sacred uh, National Museum of African American History and Culture. I want to greet and, and say hello to the founder, uh, Mr. Paul Brock, who worked at WSTA radio station on St. Thomas in 1960. Uh, Paul, <laughs> and he asked me. him to visit the Virgin Islands again soon. Uh, next year, the Virgin Islands will celebrate its 100th anniversary as a part of the United States of America after being under the Danish government for 140 years. Uh, President Glover, good evening. My commissioner of the Department of Tourism, Beverly Nicholson Doty. And I must say hello to a crucian. We call ourselves uh, certain things when we come from different islands, and a Crucian is someone from St. Croix, and we have Mr. Ryan Joseph playing trumpet. Yeah. We also know his nephew, Rasheen Christmas, a famed NBA uh, player. Uh, the Virgin Isles is very happy to, for our, being a, for our sixth year in supporting this uh, part of the NABBJ. We will continue to support that. I understand that I know that my commissioner have a number of prizes of reflecting products that we make in the Virgin Islands. Virgin Islands is a predominantly uh, community made up of African Americans and Hispanics, particularly out of the island of Puerto Rico. Uh, as part of the nation and as part of the struggle of African American families and communities, while we have tremendous success of many of our young people that do well in school, that go abroad, that work uh, across this great nation. We're told by the U.S. Census that there are over 40,000 people that identify themselves as a part of the Virgin Islands that live on the U.S. mainland. Yet we struggle in the Virgin Islands, among particularly many of our male uh, young folks, in this continuing effort of violence against each other. This seemingly lack of respect uh, between each other in terms of life. And we struggle to provide opportunities for our young people, our young men in particular, uh, to wean them away from settling many of their disputes uh, with a gun. I mention it because it is really important across in many, many African American communities we see that. And as, um, as African Americans, we have certainly made great strides in this nation. I have no intention of being partisan, but I think the national elections of today mm. tell each and every one of us that we have yet a long road to travel. And so <laughs> I, I say to each of you, uh, continue to do the fine work that you do in reporting to our communities, in reporting to the nation, in reporting to the world. I welcome each and every one of you to take a trip to the Virgin Islands and see an American community of Caribbean descent of deep culture and tradition and uh, uh, really island living and proud and wonderful people struggle to make it, uh, to have success, to raise families, to be in business and to be a part of the American fabric. We have the distinction in the U.S. Virgin Islands of having the highest per capita number of veterans that have given their ultimate sacrifice for conflicts of this great nation, yet the people of the Virgin Islands, as the other three territories, struggle for the basic right to participate in the national elections by each casting a vote for their own president. So I'm happy to be here this evening. I wish you all well, enjoy the event, and again, I'm humbled in being on this sacred ground of this National Museum of African American History and Culture. It's a defining uh, moment, I believe, in our lives. I look forward to the tour, and I definitely will come back uh, after the opening in September, and I will come back as governor because I will have the privilege and the honor of having the VIP tour, and I'll get some of the secrets that the public may not get. <laughs> So thank each and every one of you. Ryan, thank you for the wonderful music with the members of your band, and do have a wonderful evening. Thank you. <laughs>